Hi, welcome back to a new part of our Blender tutorial to build an e-bike. Um, today I show you how to type and make that round. And maybe we try to start that again. So we begin. You see we have here a uh, text that is bandled. How we do that? Simply add text then it's laid down so we have to rotate them rotate x 90 degrees so we have that now we want to type in our text so we hit tap on the keyboard and then we can normally delete them and type in new so there stands angel Just seventeen M M that will let eighteen point five Newton meter. Good. Um that is now too big, so we have to get in the object mode here we have a new tab that's called font and here we can control the font we have here the size the type and all so the size we make smaller so that it is like there good I think we can go a little bit smaller such like that yeah and that we want to write along here so we need a curve modifier so add and curve so add curve circle then rotate x 90 degrees scale down bring it in front so we look that we are in the middle around that so that the text can be float around that Good. Then this text we make a copy, Shift D, bring that in front too. Then that is a text now, and we need a mesh to get them follow this circle. So because of that, we have to convert this text as a mesh. So Alt C on the numpad, and then mesh from curve or text. So, and then you see we have here mesh. This mesh we can bend around to this one. That is simple. We click that. The name is Briseus Circle. We go to our mesh. And then we give them modifier. The curve modifier. And this is called Briseus Circle. So we give here Briseus Circle. And you see it arrives there. To control that now better we click on the circle and then we can adjust that like we would. Uh, in this case I think can be a little bit smaller all in all so we make it a little bit smaller and then we can rotate huh. moment <laughs> must so well good that is okay um so we apply now this curve modifier then we set the origin to the geometry um, then we click here in the middle, this our middle point, and say then the origin of this tag should be at the 3D cursor. And now we can rotate in Y and bring it to the position that we want. Good, that was the first text that we don't need anymore. That not, so move to second layer, like ever. Then we have here text with an other uh, font so 
now I show you how we get another front in there. Uh, front in there. You remember we had um, a folder where we have a texture folder where we put all in, and I played around with some um, fonts, and I think that one is good. It is called Mignon. Mignoe and that we want to use in Blender now so we must first search that in Windows so we go to the Windows folder computer C Windows folder fonts here and it's called Mignon so we search that Here is it, Mignon standard. We go here and copy that, and then we bring it to our folder. So that was Blender, this version. Mm, I must think about it. It's 10, it's correctly, and it should be this bicycle yeah there we have the texture folder and um, there we put that in so we have in our main folder now this uh, font that we want to use in Blender and now we can say here we type a text so add text rotate x19 scale down type in uh, that what you want so in this case I make because of copyright blender tech so and now we want that in another uh, font so we go here to font and then you can say here I want another one so we go here to open and then you give the TFT, a uh, TTF uh, font that we put in our folder, and you see now we have that new uh, font there, and surely we can put them later on it. So that is okay. Then we have that here, so we type that in the normal. Uh, standard version of the font so we add text rotate x90 scale down and then um, type in 10 minus 12 n point m newton meter okay we need it at this part here so we have to go there we have to get a circle it should be around there and how it should be on the side okay so we scale that down and bring it so that we can put it there that is okay then we copy that shift D then with Alt C we convert it as a mesh then we scale it up to this size and then we use this circle on this mesh so we take here a curve modifier and give them this Bezier curve so we see we got it there and now we can control them on this point and itself in the scaling or some else so we have that that is good we apply that we go here in the middle point and say the origin of this text should be at the 3d cursor and now we can rotate y and bring them to this point good that we don't need to so move it to the second layer the same we make here shift D and bring it down okay 
um, later we will put that all um, by baking into the bake texture um, with um, texture painting uh, and then it is on it and here we make a blender symbol and that is good then. Good, um, but that was only to show you how that uh, will be with the text. Uh, we can make that here with the numbers. So add text, rotate x90, scale down and then we have a 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, that is our text, it should be here on the outer part, so we bring it there, get this circle and make it as great as we need then we we'll make a copy of that, shift D, Alt C to make a um, convert to mesh. Then we bring them in position, front, and use their modifier, curve modifier, and it should be on the Bezier curve. And now we can turn that smaller or higher, like we would and we can scale them or position them in other places. So in this case we scale that and position them a little bit near, such like that by grabbing simply. I think it can be there and a little bit greater than, yeah, such like that. And yeah, okay. Then we apply that and all fine. So we have that too and we bring that back to our second layer. Good. Um, we have done that. Now we can start with that. Um, I'm making short pause. My nose is running. see that thing here in the first moment we think oh my god how should I build such Ooh, it's not a problem we start add mesh cube scale down scale on the X make first that thing here then we scale on the Y that is the size we need and then we go in there and take the front face and extrude scale them down such like that and then you see that is not in proportion so scale x to bring it in proportion then extrude and bring it downward so we have that thing here and we want to have here uh, some bevel in so we get the lines that we want to bevel oh, that, wasn't the that one too but not the back one so okay then with Control B, we can bevel that. That was that. The same we can do with the inner part. If you like to, you don't must do such. It's uh, later for the light effects when you. Um, uh, 
when the sun shines there is the glowing point on uh, rounded edges but not at such straight edges like that one that is too sharp so control B and move the mouse and then it's rounded up so okay what we must do like ever when we have modeled it we must unwrap it so we have to set the seams so in this case we can get the whole back line and mark scene and then we need a cut down there so we can get here a loop in and that mark scene and we can take here the middle one and mark scene and that's it so then we take it all and unwrap we have forgotten to apply first the rotation scale and then unwrap good here we need two materials the first is this black one and the second is this um, from the reflector so we get here the black plastic one and we see we have here a normal error so that means we take all and recalculate the normals that's on a shading UV and then should be better uh, we have here the cut that is a problem okay uh, so make it out of way we get this here and clear it as seen and then we take it as it is and unwrap so that is now correctly good then we have this reflector thing there uh, you can get it from photo platforms or for something else uh, from the internet or make here a screenshot uh, that is not a problem so we have to set that in the node system so we take here a um, principal shader we take um, texture image texture that is a node editor that here all that is our material and that is the material in the node so and we need here the texture coordinates that is the UV and we need the mapping to place it and scale the texture so we got that connected UV with the vector we have here texture we have here vector to vector there's the image so open up and I have it under my folder where I have all textures and there I have some like that and here is one and um, yeah I put them now here into color and now you see it here I have to place that material now here into so I mark where it should be the front face there and then I click here on the material too and assign that and then we have that and I want to use the complete one so I go to you unwrap um, project from view bounds that use the complete texture in it so we have them that and that is correct good uh, we have done this first thing uh, now we need to make the other one sorry I must get my nose clean wow I'm very ill good uh, then we make this um, run stuff here I had mesh a circle rotate x 90 degrees and then we scale them a little down and scale in with set and we have that here 
Then we go to edit mode, word selection, border selection with B, and only mark the down part there. Not this one, only that. And then X to bring them away, then mark them both. Extrude and bring them down. So we have that what we want there. Good. Um, but you see it's a little bit thin in a, in a moment. So it must be thicker. Um, so we go in edit mode. A to select all. Extrude scale. To thickness like that. And you see it fits here. But it don't fit there. That is because it is not on inset or something else so we scale in the X and bring it to the same size here as there and then we only need here these two words coming down and then we have this mesh that we need there uh, I think can be a little bit rounder so we can take here Connected proportional editing, grab set, and bring that a little bit more out, such like that. Good. Then we get this hole with A, and extrude it again and bring it backwards, but without proportional editing, surely. So that is the pedal in an all. Uh, it has holes and uh, this noob stair. So we will do that. Shift D, make a copy of that. Then we need uh, spaces where we can cut these holes in. And that means we need one for the top. one for the down and for the middle it must have another one good and then we see we have there three parts that cut it out oh, there is no problem here and here it should um, be more than one here you see uh, surely you can make now loops in here and uh, drag them out. That is the one way you can do that. Or we can cut out here some holes with a boolean. That's the other method uh, to do that. I don't prefer any of them. So we try. Make here some loops in. And there are some loops in. Yeah. Oh, it's still less. It's still less. Okay. I don't know how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Okay. Control R and give them nine. Good. Um, then we want to get the noob stair out, so we can take this whole line and say every second one we want to select. So select um, checker deselect, and then every second one is um, selected, and you can. Uh, change it here so and now we want to make that individual they must go in that direction out and be in that direction so we take here this point and say individual origins so each has his own in uh, origin and then we go to tools and extrude individual and then we can put it out and have that one here not too much 
such like that and then we scale them a little to get there this effect and then we have that crackling things there good that was that uh, then we want to cut in there the holes that is a longer one and the great one okay so we need a circle at mesh cylinder and it should be here and it should be our cutting color top view scale up and bring it in position okay we want to cut that into so we need a boolean for that so i make a copy of this both shift d secure copy the name is cylinder 009 so we get that one and apply the rotation scale of the gray one we apply the rotation scale of the cylinder there then 009 and we give here on the gray one the bool and say operation difference and it should be cylinder zero zero nine and apply that and then you see we have the hole in there good sorry again scale it down uh, and then we delete the half of them so we take with background selection with selection border selection and then delete that here so we have only that and then there we have it here uh, I mark it complete, shift D, duplicate it, then we rotate Y 180, so we have that, then we get this both with F and close that, then the whole back line F to close that, front line F to close that, ready. Good that is what we want to cut in so we go to view make it a little bit smaller such like that and then we cut that in so we scale set make it crater we can cut easy it's the name uh, the self name but we must apply the rotation scale first because it changed here the same apply rotation scale then again give them here the boolean get here difference get here the cylinder 009 and apply and we have a hole in here the same we make on the other side so bring them there this one has changed so we must apply rotation scale then again boolean insert a uh, difference and um, the cylinder zero zero nine apply so we have that then we can use a smooth on the whole thing you get this shading arrows because the topology is destroyed and you have three angles in quads that gives this problem but if you use an add split on it all will look good good so we done that and uh, I'm too ill to make that uh, today completely so uh, we let it at this point and next time we go on then yeah so thanks a lot and see you on the next part of the tutorial bye